So in this video, I will be making a chart just like this. This is a simple combo chart where I have the sales data for 2022 against the target of uh, 2022 by these persons in this country with this age and gender and on this date. So in this chart, the blue lines show uh, these blue lines they show the sold data in 2022 and the red lines are the target lines which are actually shown as the area. So this is what you call a combo chart. It's uh, very common in Excel, but in uh, case of Google Sheets, uh, you'll have to make a few adjustments and I will do that right. just now. Let's start making a new chart. So come here and click insert chart. Uh, it will automatically pick something from this data. Uh, this is useless. For now, I will just come here and select the entire data range just for this purpose just remove this press or click the cursor here and from start to end just select all the data and press ok but this but that does is it gives you a data range for this google sheet chart now on the x-axis it has taken date as you can see here, I do not want that. I actually want the names of persons who have made the sales. So I will remove this and I will add X axis by clicking here and I can, I can either select the entire column by selecting this point or I can just come in here and select a data range. So I will select a data range, come here and just select the entire data range up to the last point and press OK. So when I do that, I have all the names in the X axis. Now, I also need the data series. So for this video, I will just make two data. I will just add two data series. One is the uh, sold data in 2022. I can either click here, just like this, and it it should take all this data here. I think it is not taking it. I will have to uh, maybe do it manually. Okay, I will just remove it. I will add series, come here and just select this data the old fashioned way. Just like we typically do and press OK. When I press OK, then I can also add another series here. And in this series, I can just call it target. So when I add the target data and press OK, so I've got two series in this chart I do not need the aggregate option so now you can see both charts are showing but then this does not look like the, the chart that I showed you earlier which was a combo chart I will just write for now call it sales data or sales chart and for, the, for making it a combo chart, all you have to do is you have to, from this point onwards, uh, firstly, uh, remember one thing, you can always add or remove this first point, but you must add row one as header if that is your top row. So I have selected that already, just to tip for future in case you are having issues. So now uh, to make it a combo chart, come to the setup and come to the column chart and instead of the column chart I can select the combo chart here and when I do that now I have this chart in this position I can come to the customize option come to the series and just select the target 2022 and now instead of using the line I can use the area now in this case the area the red area it shows me that that should have been the target that is that each employee below should have achieved against the actual achievement and the actual sold items that they did in the blue lines. So, if you want to read it correctly, it can tell you that the locusts are the chase guys. These guys actually achieved their target and actually went much beyond their targets. So, this in this way you can actually read this data, and if you want to add some access data to where you can just double click here and when you click that you have the option to uh, in here add chart titles 
or you can add the vertical axis title for vertical axis i can just write uh number of sales for the horizontal axis i can write names of employees and in this way i can make a very simple sales chart in google sheet which has a combo of bar chart and a line chart so that's it guys that's the video and tune in for our next videos thank you